Good evening YouTube, welcome to the Live Economics Guy. Uh, in this video I want to talk about mortgage-backed securities and the 10-year treasury and how those uh, may impact the housing market. So today guys I stumbled on an article by CNN Business and in this article uh, it's actually interesting they're predicting that the Fed could crash the housing market so essentially what they're saying is that with all these interest rate hikes that are happening people are not gonna want to buy homes because they won't be able to afford it um, they also mention inflation and essentially that uh, they're they're predicting a 75 point basis points uh, a hike in the next FOMC meeting which is uh, basically a week it'll conclude a week from today so it's no surprise that they're posting this article and essentially um, you know they, they they're uh, asking if what the Fed is doing is gonna cause this crash uh, now guys I think they're missing a very important point in this article and they're not mentioning the other side of what the Fed is doing is they're letting assets roll off of their balance sheet which includes the US Treasuries as well as agency mortgage-backed securities and I think that's really important and I want to go back to what the Fed is planning to do essentially to uh, make this happen so a while ago they announced this plan it's essentially allowing um, uh, 70, 17 and a half billion dollars worth of mortgage-backed securities and 30 billion dollars uh, worth of US Treasuries to roll off for the first three months from June through August and then starting in September they're gonna allow 35 billion dollars worth of mortgage-backed securities and 60 billion dollars worth of treasuries to roll off of their balance sheet starting in September. Um, so guys, uh, if you watched my previous video, uh, you'll see that this plan has a fundamental flaw. So first, let's take a look at what is happening with the US treasuries and the, the roll off uh, uh, from the balance sheet. So if we look at um, starting uh, June 1st it was at um, essentially 5.8 trillion almost and today we are seeing essentially 5.7 trillion if we round it so uh, I did some math the potential roll-off was 200 billion almost but only about 100 billion rolled off now if we look at the mortgage-backed securities side of things we'll see something totally different. Now, I did the math and the potential roll-off was about 87 to 90 billion dollars. So about 90 billion dollars. And if we look here uh, and we look at June 1st, we have 2.7 trillion dollars in mortgage-backed securities. And if we go to today, uh, we can see that there was not much roll-off. Um, in other words, uh, the plan is not working. The reason being, I think, is because a lot of these uh, mortgages that are in these mortgage-backed securities are 30-year fixed mortgages, and uh, this plan is very slow. And I think because of this, because of this side of the plan, the Fed is losing a lot of credibility. And I think it's a uh, part of the reason why the stock market and um, other um, assets have been uh, rallied these past couple of months even though the Federal Reserve Jerome Powell the chairman has been giving this forward guidance that the Fed will uh, hike interest rates uh, through the next uh, couple of months uh, and into 2023 as well as uh, let the balance sheet let the assets on their balance sheet roll off now guys I think this is a fundamental problem here um, so what's happening I think the Fed is kind of stuck like they uh, they're gonna have a lot of issues the reason is if we go to uh, uh, Freddie Mac website uh, they post a lot of information about uh, mortgages and uh, essentially this uh, graph here uh, shows us the average mortgage rate of refinance loans 
as well as the average mortgage rates of new refinanced loans. Now guys, if you look at this green dotted line and you look at where we are in, in, at the end of 2020, the average mortgage, the average interest on a 30 year fixed mortgage is 3%. Now the way mortgage backed securities work is that they take a weighted average of all of the mortgages and the mortgage backed security and that's how you get that coupon rate essentially for that mortgage backed security, that bond. Now guys, the Federal Reserve is holding a bunch of these mortgage backed securities which I am predicting, I am estimating a lot of them have, most of them probably have that 3% coupon rate. So what's gonna need to happen if we look here is that I'm predicting that in the September FOMC meeting, which will conclude on September 22nd, Jerome Powell will have to announce that uh, the Federal Reserve is going to start to outright sell mortgage-backed securities because they're not rolling off. And this is part, uh, you know, uh, them actually rolling off of their balance sheet as part of the plan, and it's not happening. So Jerome Powell is going to have to announce that they're gonna start to sell this and some of the um, board of governors uh, members in the past have somewhat mentioned that it might uh, have to have they might have to start to sell these uh, assets these mortgage backed securities because um, you know they're essentially not getting off of the balance sheet um, I think the fundamental problem with this uh, when the uh, open market committee starts to sell these they're gonna offer them at face value and they're gonna say okay we're selling this mortgage backed security which has all of these mortgages and it has a coupon rate of three percent now the issue here is that would you rather buy a mortgage backed security with a coupon rate of three percent or for example would you consider buying a treasury bond which currently has uh, this is the 10-year treasury and this is uh, essentially the um, coupon rate over time. Currently it's at 3.41%. So would you rather buy a 30-year um, mortgage-backed security or with a 3% coupon rate or would you buy a 10-year treasury with a 3.41%? Of course you're going to go for the treasury. So my prediction is that the Federal Reserve, they're going to have to start selling mortgage-backed securities at a loss. So they're going to have to start offering a lower price because other bonds uh, that are currently being sold are sold at a higher coupon rate. Now, this has somewhat of a cascading effect because when the Fed sells uh, treasuries and mortgage-backed securities back to the private sector, what happens is it has an impact on the long run uh, interest rates so long term interest rates and this is essentially what you know they, they, they uh, refer to the 10 year treasury that's the long run interest rate so when they start to sell these mortgage backed securities at a loss what does this mean in terms of the housing market well it means that the assets that are in these mortgage backed securities are worth less than the face value in addition, it's going to push long-run interest rates up because when you saturate the market with more bonds, um, the issuance of new bonds are going to have to be at a much higher interest rate, which is why I think this rally in the 10-year has been happening over the past couple of uh, weeks and months. So we essentially sat at 2.75% and we shot up to 3.41%. So think the bond market is somewhat predicting that the Fed is going to start uh, selling these uh, mortgage-backed securities because they have no other option. These are just going to sit on their balance sheet. And guys, the way the mortgage-backed securities work is that it's not like other bonds. Uh, essentially, mortgage-backed securities have the system where the principal is paid, uh, paid over time. So they're not getting these uh, coupon payments instead the actual principle of the bond is paid over time. Um, I'll leave an article down below where um, it explains it. Um, yeah guys, I think this is gonna have 
uh, an interesting impact on the housing market. Um, I will leave all these articles actually down below in the description and uh, you can let me know uh, what you think about it. Um, so yeah, this has been the Live Economics Guy. Uh, guys, leave me a like please. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to get this video out to more people so we can get more discussion going. Yeah, thank you and have a great night.